Hello everybody, Deviant Dario here. Internet one. And today we're finally watching the death battle. Wanda versus Atanya. Let's see who wins. Alright, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle with magic. Lowered a bit since they love to screw with us with that copyright. Oh, it's a little, little extra. And for my first trick. Wanda out of your head. Oh, quite literally. Uh, ta -da! <laughs> you, what sort of two bit sorceress do you think you are? Two bit? There you go. It's more like 16 bit. 32 bit, 64 bit. I was being generous. Oh no. Folks, <laughs> <Nice>. God damn, <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> I was <laughs> not expecting that. I'd say this calls for an adventure. <laughs> I mean, I understand, but... I mean, it's not the actual Superman. She basically just summoned like a copy, so... No, they, I they know. Were... The difference between you and I. Power. I was gonna say, what well, I about to do or we're not the same is... meme? Did she just... Did she just catch the runes before she would put it up? I think she would have mentioned it if she did. I know, but I saw something behind Wanda and she pointed it out. Oh boy. I thought the Thanos and Darkseid one was crazy. Holy shit. Multi rip. Well, with the universe. Yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't real. I keep forgetting. Wanda is p actually more powerful than the Phoenix Force. A disappearing act was the first thing that ever taught me. And for my That's fun. final trick, Swish it Roll was. No more witches. What? And that's our show. Oh my god! <laughs> what the ooh. I need to hear this. So that's a magic trick that's to die for. Analyzing this matchup was like walking on a tightrope. It could yeah. go either way at any point. Because at the end of the day, both these ladies could do basically anything with their magic. Yeah. All they had to do was think and shit would happen. They were totally even. At her peak, Wanda was able to threaten the stability of all creation. And at Zatanna's best, she was able to hold back Prolia, who could do the exact same thing. And despite some differences, the omniversal cosmologies of Marvel and DC Comics are roughly equivalent in size and scope. All that was left for us to look at was their weaknesses. While both were as powerful as one another, Wanda needed to tap into the life force to reach that pinnacle, and okay. doing so threatened her sanity. Let's take a closer look oh. at the events surrounding House of M, where Wanda's powers were at their maximum. Despite admitting that she was way stronger, Doctor Strange managed to get the best of Wanda with a cool head and a spell that briefly knocked her out cold. His wits against her mental instability were enough to turn the tide. 
To be clear, this instability definitely wouldn't affect her power. She was still strong enough to create a completely new alternate reality and then erase it just as easily. What it would do is leave her open. Also, take her No More Mutant spell. As insanely powerful as it was to affect the whole of Marvel's creation, it wasn't entirely successful. There was still a tiny portion of Earth's mutant population left unaffected, likely due to interference from Strange and Emma Frost. Against Satana, who was just as strong and not losing her mind, she wouldn't be able to afford that kind of lapse, even for an instant. On the other hand, Zatanna has managed to maintain her willpower fighting foes just as strong as the Scarlet Witch, so she didn't have the same kind of exploitable weakness. And remember, she doesn't actually need to say her spells backwards. It helps with her concentration, but all her spells come from her mental impulses, just like Wanda. She's consistently pulled off non-verbal spells in the past, even against beings as strong as Pralaya. In the end, Z definitely had enough experience fighting smart and keeping on her toes to hang with Wanda long enough to get in a finishing blow. While there were definitely versions of this battle that could have ended with Wanda victorious, Zatanna's cooler head and effortless magic allowed her to prevail. I guess you could say Wanda never saw it coming, and Zatanna maxim him off her. The winner is Zatanna. Interesting. Death Battle is back and we've launched a brand new membership program for our YouTube channel. By directly supporting our team, you'll get unique emotes, badges, and additional content, and a bunch more. Click that join button to see more info, and thanks so much for watching. Aww. It's literally JoJo versus Demon Slayer. I don't hear you talking if you're talking. What is wrong with this fucking thing? Alright. Um. Wow. I am not gonna lie. I. Th th after the shit I had to look up to really figure out how that shit, how that was going to work, I was not sure if Wanda was going to take the win or not. And you know what? She didn't. <laughs> Fucking Zatanya. Zatanna literally did the equivalent of D&D's power word, kill. Yeah. He, he took, he, she did the no more mutants thing, but to her, just no more witches. Oh my God. That was interesting. So they never, I guess they technically clarified that her magic is stronger than the runes. Cause, and not only that, she was able to catch her, I think, really quick. I gotta double check, I gotta rewatch the video, but I think Wanda did have runes set up ready to activate. And Zatanna was like, nah. <laughs> like, oh, you have a spell going in this part of the galaxy? You know what, let's just hop out of the universe. Now, I, now you can't affect me. <laughs> Oh, wow. And that was another thing, because it really wasn't really clarified if... Like, I knew Wanda, it has been stated before, that Wanda was a bit of a... Uh, what's the word? Um, Unstable with her powers. So, it was. I wasn't sure if she'd be able to keep full control of it during the fight. And I thought the same thing would be would, would go for Zatanya. But, honestly, Zatanya had the much better head in this fight and was able to hold her own way better than I expected. And I, I, I mean, I, I, I knew this because she was the type of fighter who's, she's known to take on others way stronger than herself, but so she's much more clever with her tactics and that's what makes her very valuable. But damn, who knew? I really was not expecting that. That was amazing. Yeah, the season's just weird. Honestly, I I, I, I want to say that, but we've had weirder matchups, and I'll, I'll tell you what, the next one is, is a little random, but who knows? Cause, cause I, I noticed in the new pattern now, you'll have one really good one, one random one, then another good one, then a random one, and then usually ends it off on the fifth one. Fifth or sixth, depending. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you are right, the next one's going to be kind of weird, but you know what? Yeah. Fuck it, this I don't really see the uh, correlation between the two, but hey, I've never watched either or, so. Well, Jonathan is not, not, is, I mean, what we do know, we, we know a lot of um, the other, of the other, the first Jojo that fought, um, oh, the one that fought, um, uh, Fist of North Star guy, uh, wow, I can't think of his freaking name, um, when he fought Ken. And he is a little bit different compared to Jonathan they have coming up. But we'll save that for the actual last minute rundown. And uh, just 
leave it off here. So um, thank you guys for joining us. This was actually a really good one, and I'm really happy with the results. Um, so thank you again for joining us. I'm Deviant Dario. That's a good one. You have a wonderful night.